So this first problem, we got this x minus 10 equals 8. And you guys... So the first thing we're going to want to do on this equation is to split it up. The first equation, x minus 10 equals 8, this is going to be a positive 8. Because if I can get x minus 10 to equal 8, then the positive 8 will come out of that absolute value. But, on the other hand, I can also have x minus 10. If I can get it to equal negative 8, then it will come out as a positive 8 from those absolute values. From Radical, I'm going to take and add 10 to both sides of both equations. And then I got x equals 18, and bam, x equals 2. Those are the two equations that we need. Now, do you, some of you guys notice on this quiz, some of the problems are more difficult than the others. So if you stopped here, by the way, you would be taking a huge chance because you'd want to you'd want to check this stuff, right? So you do 18 minus 10 in the original e equation there, which is 8. The absolute value of 8 is 8, and bam, you would know that this one checks off right account. If you did 2 minus 10, you'd get negative 8. The absolute value of negative 8 is 8, so this one checks off as well. And we know that the two answers are correct. Now let us look at this one. So this one, our instincts are going to tell us to split this up into two equations. Wrong. Do not split it up into two equations. Here we've got an absolute value that is going to put out a negative. That can never happen, so no solutions. Oh, by the way, I should mention on this problem, if all you write is no solutions, you may get a 2. You may get a 2 out of 4. To get full credit on this one, you're going to have to spell out what the heck you did. Bam, an absolute value cannot, we'll underline that, cannot be negative. So this problem, a lot of you guys look at this problem and say, well, there's no solutions because we have an absolute value that equals a negative. That is not true. We've got to get the absolute value by itself like it was on that previous problem. So what this means is we've got to get rid of this minus 7 by adding 7 to both sides. I did it right. And then we're going to drop this negative 9 times the absolute value of negative 6x plus a 6. And this equals negative 115 plus uh, 7 is negative 108. Now to get that absolute value by itself, do not distribute that. What we're going to do is divide both sides by negative 9. -er. Then we still got that absolute value of negative 6x plus 6. The negative 9s cancel out. And a negative 108 divided by a negative 9, -er, 12. Well, now we have an absolute value that equals a positive. That is okay, and we can continue to solve. All right, now we're going to split this up into two separate equations. So we have the answer being both positive and negative 12 now. And we'll just finish this one off. So I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides of both equations. This is a big problem. Now, from right here, all I need to do is divide both sides by negative 6 on both equations. And I should have my answer, x equals negative of 1, and x equals 3. So the work right here has been shown very clearly, very precisely, what exactly we have done for each step, which would earn you a nice solid 4. Especially if you can do the other two problems, and then this one, which is more difficult, bam. You will definitely have a form. Again, you'd have to show some work, make it very clear. So this may be an example of a problem you'll see on the test as well. Being able to simplify an expression and then solve an equation from that simplified expression. So from Radican, what I would do is combine my like terms on the left side of the equal sign. So negative 4 plus that 1x would give me a negative 3x Radican. I've still got this minus 6, and that equals negative 12. From right here, we're going to add 6 to both sides of the equal sign. So we got the negative 3x equals, now that becomes a negative 6. 
dividing both sides by negative 3, and we get x equal 2. Now, this is showing a lot of work right account. So, uh, that would be worth a lot of credit, at least a 3. For these types of equations, if you want to full credit, you will definitely need to show work. So, i got to show my original equation, negative 4x minus 6 plus x equals negative 12. And then I'm going to replace my x's with the value of x that I just found, which is 2. And then I'm just going to make sure it's a true statement. So negative 4 times 2, negative 8 minus 6 plus 2 equals negative 12. So question mark. And yes, that would give us negative 12. That is true. And now I've shown all my work and the checking. And so I know my answer is correct. And since I've shown all my work, I can get a 4. All right, on this one. To get full credit, it will be important to show some, some way that you're multiplying these. Now, not everyone needs to show this next step, but uh, it will help you maybe to understand it. I got negative 3 times negative 8. We can put that in parentheses if we want. We're going to subtract this from a negative 3 times a 5x equals 3x. This is just showing the distribution. Not everyone needs this, especially if you're using those rainbows. Then I've got negative 3 times negative 8, which is 24. And then we got that minus. Uh, negative 3 times 5x, that would be negative 15x equals a 3x. And yeah, we got minus a negative, so we can change that to a big fat plus sign. And we want all the x's on one side of the equal sign. I'm going to choose to add, subtract 15x from both sides. Now I got the 24 equals negative 12x. Finally, to solve, divide both sides by negative 12. And we get x equals a negative 2. Now that is a lot of work. It's uh, good work. It's very organized work. So you could at least get a 3 on that. To get a 4, you will need to show uh, checking the work. All right, the first thing we're going to want to do on these types are to distribute. So that's going to be a 35 plus a 10x. And then over here, I'm distributing that as a negative 2. So that now is a positive 12x and a positive 24. The rest of it stays the same. Bam, there we go. Now we can combine like terms, so 9x and 10x, that would be a 19x's. Still got that 35 right here. And this should equal negative 3 and 24. That's going to give us 21, and then a plus a 12x. Now we can choose which side we want the x's on. I'm going to put them on the left, and that means I'm going to put all my numbers on the right. So I got to get rid of this 35 right here by subtracting 35 on both sides. And that gives us a negative 14. And we still got the 19x equal to these. And then uh, plus 12x right here. Well, now let's get rid of that uh, plus 12x. So I will subtract 12x now from both sides. And I get 7x equal negative 14. Finally, dividing both sides by 7, I get x equal negative 2. Now again, on this one, to guarantee that you get a 4, you should check your answer in the original equation. All right, let's get going on this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute this negative 6. That makes this one a positive 36 minus 18x, and the rest stays the same. All right, now let's go ahead and combine like terms. So I got that 36 and the 3, which is going to give us 39, and the rest of this stuff stays the same. Now, since I got those negative 18x's on one side, I'm going to subtract 39 from both sides. And so I got my negative 18x, and this is less than 183 minus 39. 
and now I got a 144. So dividing both sides by this negative 18 right here. Uh, I did divide both sides by negative, so that is going to flip this inequality to now be, instead of less than, greater than. So I still got my x and 144 divided by negative 18. That's going to give us this negative 8 right here. Now be careful because on the test you're going to want to check your work on that just to make sure it's equal. And you're going to want to test values anything greater than negative 8 to make sure that also gives you a true statement. All right. So out of these, we're going to distribute this 3 right here. So 3 times 1 is 3 minus 3 times 5x. That's a 15x. Of course, we still got the negative 6, and we'll add that 3. Less than negative 21 minus 6x. Now combining like terms, negative 6 plus 3 is a negative 3. Minus 15x is less than negative 21 minus 6x. I forgot my x on the 15. All right, I'm going to put my x's on the right side of the equals, or the inequality, rather. So I'm going to add 15x to both sides. Now I got this negative 3 is less than negative 21. And negative 6x plus 15x is a positive 9x. And then I will add 21 to both sides. So that gives us uh, 18 is less than 9x. Finally, dividing both sides by 9 -er. We did divide by a positive, so it's not going to affect the inequality. We get 2 is less than x. So you could write it as well. Uh, x is greater than 2. And that would be good. All right, no more talking. I'm going to finish this problem, then we'll call it good for the day. So I'm going to distribute these. I got negative 7 times x, that's a negative 7x. Negative 7 times negative 7, I'm just going to make that a positive 49er. And then if I distribute that negative 1, it's just like we're changing the signs inside the, inside the parentheses. Nothing else changed. Now I will combine like terms, so that now becomes a 53 and I still have my negative 7x. And there's nothing to combine on the right side of the inequality. So we're good there. Now I'm going to try this just because you can if you want. And some of you prefer to do this. You can combine uh, the two steps in one. So I'm going to add my 7x's. I'm going to put my x's on the right side just because I can. So I'm going to do that, but at the same time, since I want my x's on the right side, I need to get rid of my numbers on the right side by adding 6. So now i got a 59er is uh, greater than or equal to a 3x right account. And now when I divide both sides by 3, I get x is less than or equal. I'm just going to keep that improper fraction right there, and I will call it good.